Hello friends, this is Ganesh and hope you're doing great. And in this video, we're going to see some aggregation options uh, in CDSU. So how we can perform uh, the basic ones like some count, average, min, max and two more additional options it's related to that particular functionality that is round and least. Okay, let's get into the slides. So the syntax wise, if you see for, okay, these are the things which we are going to see today, min, max, sum, count, average, and round and least. Okay. So uh, if you go with minimum, and the syntax would be uh, select min, fee, min, I, m, i, n as the functions we can say, or aggregation functions, and then field name, which field you want to get the minimum value. Okay. So from the which table. And the var condition is optional. If you want, you can add it. Otherwise, it just take the minimum uh, minimum field based on the value of the particular database field. So uh, here, one of the example is if you want to get the minimum net value uh, of the materials, and then you have to go with uh, minimum of net value. And if you want a var condition, you can add it over here. Okay, it's pretty simple. And same for the maximum. If you want a maximum instead of min, you can go with max. Suppose if you want to get a second minimum, so I want, uh, there are some uh, business scenarios where we have to get the second minimum or second maximum uh, options. So in that case, we are going to use a subquery. So here is pretty simple. The functionality is I'm going to say to the uh, select query or the system, take the um, second minimum value from a particular field. So the query would be it should be greater than the first minimum value. So that is the one we are going to use in the subquery. So make sure if you're, you're going to take a value which is greater than the first minimum value. Okay. So the condition is like this. So select minimum value from, from particular database table and make sure that particular value is greater than the first minimum value. So how to determine the first minimum value? We, are, we have seen in the previous slide, just select minimum from the database. So here uh, it will get the first minimum value then compared with your var condition then is greater than it automatically get the second minimum value. Same thing you can apply for the maximum. The maximum difference would be so here it is less than. So if you want a second maximum then make sure get the first maximum and there is a var condition. The var condition is to be satisfied if it is less than the first maximum value. So automatically this select uh, returns the second maximum value from the particular field. So this is a way you have to play around if you want second minimum or second maximum Okay, using a subquery. And uh, so minimum we have, uh, we can, you can add a var condition and order by. So if you want a var condition, make sure that needs to be added before the group by option. Otherwise you will get a syntax error. And uh, uh, you can have a minimum and maximum in the same query. So if you want, I want a minimum of this field and I want a maximum of this field. Yes, you are able to add it both in the same query. Depends on your business need. And okay, so in minimum or maximum, if you want need to perform uh, some uh, kind of uh, arithmetic operations like it may be a plus, minus or division or multiplication. Yes, you are able to add it. So based on the result, this aggregation function determines what is the maximum, what is the minimum. Okay, so here we are just uh, I'm going to use the S flight or F, say SPFLI that means flight information because we have enough data, especially it's good for the aggregation. Uh, functions. So this will take what is the maximum uh, seat occupation happened. So maximum seat maximum minus seat occupied. So what are the uh, remaining? Okay. So what is the uh, seat spending or available? So that will take which carrier has maximum seats available as of now. So that this query returns that particular functionality. Okay. So this will applicable for min as well as max. So you can perform some operations or some arithmetic operations. So the value of the, uh, the arithmetic operation after that it determines which is maximum and which is minimum value. So the next one is an option of having. So um, one more functionality based on the minimum, whatever is getting. So I want to have or I want to add that kind of a var condition because you are not able to add a var condition for minimum or maximum aggregation functions because var accepts only database feeds. But I want to add kind of a var condition based on the output of my 
aggregation functions then you can have a keyword called having so having minimum i'm going to have uh, make sure what is the output what is the value of this particular functionality or particular function and make sure i'm going to have one condition here it is greater than five so i want a value so there is some value is going to become but i want that to be greater than my uh, need or business requirement then you can have a having option here this you can have in most the most of the uh, uh, SQL function cases okay so having this particular function greater than 5 this is not only arithmetic suppose I want to have so having minimum of a particular field greater than 100 or less than 5 so whatever it is okay depends on your need so having is in one of the option that uh, this satisfies your uh, one of the business needs and then sum and average is good, pretty simple uh, sum of the particular field as if you want to analyze okay normally you need to analyze and from the table and there is a var condition and it's optional and the same thing for average as well okay. so the next is count it's pretty simple and i want to get number of records uh, based on some group by field uh, then you have to use this option select count of star and, uh, and then additional fields if you require then based on group by then use that particular field as a group by option and then uh, so here also you can have a, a having for the count uh, having count of greater than five uh, depends on whatever you need and you can have a select count of distinct suppose a particular field i want get, get the uh, unique values then you can use the option called count distinct car id from the particular table okay so here the group buys are optional depends on your need you can use it or you can ignore it and then uh, there are two other functions which you are going to see today as round so round off option so uh, those mostly we know the functionality so here i'm just explaining the syntax how you can be able to make use of it in the sql level so select round of the particular field and how many decimal places you want and here i have used more than one and whatever functions i have explained you can have more than one uh, in your select query it's not for only particular field if you want to perform the same for more than one particular field yes you are able to make it and this is here i have used two different um, uh, fields for the round off option and this is for decimal places one this is for decimal places two and it will round off based on the uh, decimal places and it will give this uh, relevant output and uh, the least is, is like uh, which is the least out of the fields which is the least value you can get it okay uh, but minimum is you can get the minimum based on only one field but i want to give a comparison between the fields of the one particular record and get what is the minimum value out of it if that is the scenario you can go with least so more than two fields also applicable here okay so here i want to get uh, there are two fields in normally in the particular tables of so business class and first class so i want to see every record based on my conditions so which one is uh, occupied very least which option uh, which uh, whether it's a business class or first class is getting least booking so for that i'm going to use the function called least okay and um, yeah uh, this is about now about some aggregation functions along with round and least okay so let's get into the system I have some issue in my rental systems, not able to reach that. Uh, people are working on it. I don't want to uh, hold that particular video. So I just made everything in a notepad. And uh, as you uh, are aware, I will just add it in my drive. So you can just download it and you can work on the particular uh, select queries. So here, uh, this is my class. And this I made it for AMDP procedure okay and i have a, a class method i don't have any return because um the values from a different select is coming from different fields so based on that i have to uh, just change my return parameter instead i just used on the flow declaration over here so how i can identify is through a debugging mode you just come to know what is the value is returning from the select okay so that way you can do it just have a toggle breakpoint here and go through uh, one by one scenarios, one by one uh, queries, and you can understand how the queries are working and what is the output of it. So here the first one is uh, how to get the second. Okay, if you ignore this, maybe there is a first one I can say. Um, okay, uh, probably I modified that. Okay, this one over here. 
So this is the query which returns the minimum value uh, from the table Mara and uh, you can see here so these are missing so please add it whenever you are um, seeing those things yes fli i believe sp fli so i can able to declare because the parameter name is same so you can't uh, make it enable all the statements so only one statement to be enabled all rest of the statement to be disabled then only you are you're not getting any syntax error because once you declare this it result it is going to carry the value of NTGW and then after that again this is fine but here it give a different uh, error message saying that ID result parameter is an invalid parameters because it's already declared it holds only one field from Mara table and here I'm using the same variable but for the different select query so that is the reason if you want to execute it make sure only one select statement is enabled and to comment all other select statement or you have to give a different name on it okay so either way it works so first one it gives what is the minimum value and i have only one var condition and second query it gives uh, the second minimum value uh, based on this like sub query this based on the sub query uh, value over here so i'm used greater than for minimum and maximum use less than you'll get a second minimum or second maximum depends on your business requirement and this query uh, says you can have min and max at the same time of the same single query uh, for a different field or a same field and you can have a var condition the sequence of the var condition is to be the first and then you can have a group and order by so all three are um, what I can say it's, it's optional so it depends on that if you need you can use it okay so once you have a group based on that only you will get information for your minimum as well as your maximum and uh, this one is going to be minimum flight time okay i just changed these are from the mara level this is from the uh, spfl i'm getting the minimum flight time based on the country from okay so previously i didn't add much uh, here i just add the group by option uh, along with my i want a second minimum flight time so i added a, a sub query and uh, group by country from depending on the country from i want which is the minimum flight duration the flight travel time and the this one you can have um, arithmetic operations so based on this value this operator this uh, function is going to be determined whether it is a minimum or maximum so here i have one more as i want uh, which is the um, least occupied maximum and minus occupied so which is the minimum uh, see it's occupied uh, carrier id i want to know what but i want one more condition that should be greater than five okay and this is a count uh, you have just i want uh, total number of records from spfli but now i want to do the group by also based on the country from i want this count to be determined and along with that i have one more condition based on this for um, functionality aggregation my select query should return the value it's not just a count i have one more condition over here and then distinct so i want to get a distinct value from a field then you have to use distinct car id i believe you're not able to use distinct star that won't be possible you have to use distinct and the field name so based on the field name it will give all the unique informations from the particular field so here also you can have having count option if it is required and round off i'm going to have round off for price one and round off for payment sums or the, the output you can see but still you are able to see the decimal values though for example this price is by default means the declaration is two or three decimal places still in the output you are able to see three decimal places but the roundup is happening for the first decimal places okay so remaining or it's, it's display as a zeros so you can't say it it shows only one decimal uh, the design is three but it will display one no the design is three output also three but it shows the roundup is happening in the first decimal itself okay so you come to know once you see the output of it so i'm not able to uh, show the output here that's it and the next one is sum uh, is pretty simple for total seats i'm getting maybe a var condition what is the plain type and uh, in the even sum also you can have this uh, having option 
and this is for average i have wear condition and group by i want to group by these informations and i'm going to use the average option okay and then the final one is the least option so i'm going to use the least functionality to determine comparatively the business class and first class which is filled very least out of these two fields it will display which one has a least value okay you can have two or more than two values also for the least function okay so hope this might be useful i'm sorry i'm not able to um, show this in the system level or in the debugging level so just try this i will upload it in my drive just uh, download and just try and if you have any doubt please let me know and thank you so much for your time see you in the next video bye